Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the program Fuckaroonies. And today, I'd like to continue my talk about Korea Depression Syndrome. Korea Depression Syndrome, CDS. And it's, it's happened a lot of places now because, you know, the statistics say that the average person, they will go through five, at least five, career changes. They need to reinvent themselves five times in their life. And, uh, you know, it happens, retrenchment, the company changes direction. It's all happening, fuckers. It's all happening. And career depression syndrome can bite you hard. And i got to tell you, I, uh, I, I want to talk about a situation in my life where I was suffering career depression syndrome. So my business wasn't going good anymore. I desperately tried to get employment. I got a, a job as a contractor. The contracting job, well, that, that lasted six months, and then it went into a full-time job I loathed. The job market, this, is after the, this was just after Y2K, the tech crash, very, very tough indeed. And uh, I got to tell you, it was very hard, and I'd actually sold off a lot of my luxury goods. I'd sold off my Rolex President, that's the solid gold President I had, sold off my Submariner, sold off my Explorer 2. I was just fucking miserable. I mean, to someone who's so materialistic and loves luxury goods, to have sold all these things off, oh, was it a downer. Just so, I was, I was stuck with a vintage boy-sized Tudor. That's all I had, a vintage boy-sized Tudor. What a bummer. Absolute bummer. And uh, i got to tell you, sometimes you're better off just to keep a few. I mean, sure, you may, may sell the president, but... I didn't really need to. It didn't really help that much. You know, you know what I mean? It, it's it's one of these things, and it would have made me a lot fucking more happier having the president to draw strength from. And uh, career depression syndrome, you sell off things, you're desperately trying to reduce your debt, you're thinking it's all Armageddon, it's all ending, the world's going to end, and it doesn't. It doesn't. I look back on it and think, well, what the fuck did I sell... Those beautiful things that gave me such pleasure. And uh, i got to tell you now, I've got my collection has been resurrected. I've gone back heavily into Rolex. And i got some other pieces. I mean, my key collection now, we've got the, um, we got the Calatrava as the ultimate dress watch in white gold. We've got the Reverso, which is a steel piece on a leather strap. That's sort of like a, a, a dress watch but little smidgen less formal than the, the white gold piece. We've got the uh, Breguet Type 20. That's just getting a Breguet service at the moment. That'll come back super, super clean and nice. We've got the Rolex Submariner, no date. Beautiful dive watch. Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. Good GMT function watch. And we've also got a date just. We've got all the bases covered. And uh, it's a well thought out collection. It's just well rounded, well thought out, and it just it just works. I got Rolexes, I got some really nice fancy pieces, six beautiful watches. What more could a man want? And uh, the comfort it gives you. I mean, I've come to the conclusion in my life now. Yes, I'm attacking the credit card junkie. I was a credit card junkie. I I, I confess, it's all it's all true. It's coming back in line, and uh, I'm, I'm making ways to make improvements in my life. And uh, i got to say, living with luxury goods, it's a wonderful feeling. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Good to hear you've come back to Rolex. That's your forte, son. <laughs>